In Travel News, for December 13th, 2023, we talk about the increased cyber threats to users of Booking.com. British Airways makes travel easier for hearing-impaired travelers and the reopening of the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, an award-winning travel agency that makes travel so easy, even a blind traveler like me can do it. And now, today in travel. In recent developments, travelers using Booking.com are facing an alarming rise in cyber attacks. Hackers are actively seeking login details of hotels, posing a significant threat to travelers worldwide. This concerning trend has escalated since March, with numerous reports of travelers being defrauded. Hackers have devised cunning strategies to infiltrate the administrative portals of hotels listed on Booking.com. Using malware, they trick hotel staff with seemingly innocent emails, leading to the unintentional downloading of the software. Once inside the system, they gain access to Booking.com's portal, viewing customer reservations and masquerading as hotel staff to deceive guests into making payments directly to them. The impact is global, with cases reported from the United States, the United Kingdom, Indonesia, Singapore, Greece, Italy, Portugal, and the Netherlands. Travelers are urged to be vigilant, especially when contacted through the app or email regarding payments. Experts suggest that hotels should adopt multi-factor authentication to bolster security. Meanwhile, Booking.com has implemented warning messages in chat windows, but more proactive measures, such as blocking links in chats to newly created websites, might further protect unsuspecting travelers. In one instance, a traveler was contacted via the Booking.com app and persuaded to transfer funds, believing it to be a hotel staff request. This highlights the sophistication of the scam, which uses social engineering tactics to exploit trust. Booking.com acknowledges the seriousness of these breaches, emphasizing that their system remains secure, but their hotel partners' accounts have been compromised. The company is actively working with partners to secure their systems and assisting impacted customers, including aiding in recovering lost funds. The surge in cyber attacks on Booking.com users is a stark reminder of the evolving threats in the digital travel space. Travelers must exercise increased caution, especially regarding online communications and payments. It's not just about finding the best deals anymore. It's also about safeguarding personal information and financial transactions from sophisticated cyber criminals. As the industry adapts to these challenges, staying informed and vigilant remains the best defense for travelers worldwide. British Airways is taking a significant step towards inclusivity by partnering with SignCode UK, a leading organization committed to providing equal access to information for the deaf and hard of hearing community. This collaboration aims to enhance the travel experience for these customers through signed video content. The partnership introduces a range of signed videos offering vital travel information. These videos, accessible through links or QR codes, cater to the needs of the deaf and hard of hearing travelers, ensuring they receive personalized messages in sign language. The content spans from pre-travel information available on BA.com to onboard safety procedures. The first video featuring British Airways deaf customer experience agent provides an in-depth look at the airline services, including booking, airport experience, and onboard amenities. This initiative aims to empower customers by offering information to make informed travel decisions. A second video, set to launch by the end of 2023, will focus on onboard safety features and procedures. This video will also be available on BA.com and through QR codes accessible to cabin crew, offering an alternative to face-to-face -face safety briefings already provided to deaf or hard-of-hearing customers. 
The director of sustainability at British Airways emphasizes their airline's pride in partnering with SignCode UK to enhance accessibility. The collaboration reflects their commitment to ensuring a seamless and dignified travel experience for all customers. The managing director at SignCode UK expresses her pride in working with British Airways to increase awareness and accessibility for the deaf community. The partnership represents a significant step in British Airways' journey towards being an accessible airline for everybody. In recognition of these diverse needs of the deaf community, British Airways and SignCode UK are offering videos in both British and American Sign Language, with plans to include other languages, including Spanish. This expansion is part of the airline's broader strategy to enhance its BSL video content. Beyond the Sign Code UK partnership, British Airways supports deaf and hard of hearing customers through a Minicom system and a partnership with Sign Live for British Sign Language in customer engagement centers. Through Sign Live's video relay service, customers can connect with a BSL interpreter, facilitating communication with the airline's accessibility team. British Airways' collaboration with SignCode UK marks a pivotal moment in making air travel more accessible and inclusive. By providing crucial information in sign language and expanding its accessibility services, the airline demonstrates its commitment to ensuring that all customers, regardless of hearing ability, can travel with confidence and comfort. This initiative sets a standard for other airlines to follow, fostering a more inclusive and welcoming travel industry. After the catastrophic blaze that engulfed Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France, the world watched in sorrow. Now, nearly six years later, the Gothic masterpiece is poised to welcome visitors and host Catholic masses once again, marking a new chapter in its storied existence. Scheduled for December 8th, 2024, the reopening symbolizes resilience and dedication to cultural preservation. The task of reconstructing Notre Dame has been monumental, beginning earnestly in 2022. The decision to restore the 12th century edifice to its original glory, including the iconic 19th century spire, reflects a commitment to historical accuracy and architectural integrity. This year, the spire's reinstatement will serve as a beacon of the cathedral's revival. While the cathedral will open its doors in 2024, ongoing renovation efforts are anticipated to continue into 2025. The complexity of the restoration encompasses various aspects, such as the framework, paintings, stonework, vaults, organs, and stained glass, involving around 1,000 workers each day. In tandem with the restoration, cultural initiatives are underway to educate and inspire the public. The exhibition Notre Dame de Paris at the heart of the construction site, located in an underground facility near the cathedral, showcases the artisan's expertise and displays artwork that has been salvaged from the fire. Furthermore, the Louvre is hosting Notre Dame Cathedral from its origins to Volet le Duc until January 29th, 2024. This exhibition offers a deep dive into the cathedral's rich history through more than 120 works, providing context and appreciation for the ongoing restoration efforts. The reopening of Notre Dame Cathedral is not just a milestone for Paris, France, but a testament to global cultural resilience. As we anticipate the doors opening in late 2024, the ongoing restoration work and accompanying exhibitions remind us of the intricate blend of history, art, and community effort that shapes our world heritage. This event marks not only a restoration of a historical site, but also the rejuvenation of a symbol of human perseverance and artistic dedication. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, an award-winning travel agency that specializes in making travel easier for everyone. From the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled traveler, it's our belief that everybody deserves to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.